Welcome to Medical Globe e-learning. This is Hafsa Mubin from Federal Medical and Dental College and we are doing unit 11 of physiology which is motor of neurophysiology and we are on chapter 56. First of all you need to know the table of specification. From this unit in paper there will be 8 MCQs and 2 SCQs. Now coming to our topics. This first topic is not important. You can ignore this topic. Next is the motor cortex and corticospinal tract. This underlined text is for your reading and for your concepts. This primary motor cortex definition and its location is important for both MCQs and as well as your SCQ. Then this text is just for your understanding. This is the first diagram of this chapter and this is most important diagram in this chapter. You have to draw motor and somatosensory functional areas of the cerebral cortex. This is very 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 important diagram. Next is the premotor area. This is also shown in this previous diagram and this is imp also important for your MCQ and SCQ. The important MCQ points are being highlighted. The supplementary motor area is also have important MCQ points in this topic. The Broca's area is also important for SCQ. The voluntary eye movement field is also important for MCQ. This is area of the hand skill. It is also important for your SCQ as well as for your MCQs. Next is the transmission of signals from the motor cortex to the muscles. This track of corticospinal track or the pyramidal track is very very important for your SCQ. You have to write a little bit of the detail and draw this diagram in that SCQ. This is very very important question. Then this is also the continuation of that topic and important for MCQs. Next is this blue box other fiber pathways from the motor cortex. This is also important for your understanding but not as such important for your paper questions. Next is the red nucleus serve as an alternative pathway. This is very very important. The red nucleus its location and its function. Functions are coming forward but this diagram is all is related with the red nucleus or corticorubrospinal pathway. So you have to draw this diagram. This is the continuation of that previous topic and is important for your SCQ. And its function are also included in that SCQ. The function of corticorubinal spinal tract is also important. Next comes extra pyramidal system. This system is also important for your SCQ. The excitation of spinal cord motor control areas by the primary motor cortex and red nucleus. This is important topic in regards with the MCQs. This is a function of each column of neurons. This is also important, the function of that neurons in the spinal cord. The dynamic neurons and static neurons, there is, this is also important topic, but this topic is also covered in the previous chapter. So now is the somatosensory feedback to the motor cortex helps control the precision of muscle contraction. This topic is not that much important for your SCQs, but this is important as a concept. You have to read this for your proper understanding. Then is the stimulation of the spinal motor neurons. This is also important topic for your understanding and important points are highlighted. You have to read this topic thoroughly for your concepts. This is also important for your concepts, not as such important for your SEQs, but important points are and important points are highlighted. Next is very important question. It is a past UQ. So that is control of motor functions by the brain stem. This is very, very important. All these fun all these functions are very important. Then is another SCQ support of the body against gravity. This is a function of reticular and vestibular nuclear. A coming text is the whole detail of this topic and uh, you have to do this for your SCQ. Pontine reticular system, then medullary reticular system, then vestibular nuclei. These all are important for your SCQs. Then is the vestibular sensation and maintenance of equilibrium. This is important for your 
concepts membranous labyrinthine and crista ampullaris and macula these are all important structures you have to understand them and memorize the memorize all these important points for your mcqs next is this is also important as a concept and for your mcq this is all the structure is all very important for your mcqs and the function is an important as a scq you have to do this diagram with this text for your understanding this function is very important question this is the continuation of that function topic this is also the continuation of that topic mm, now is this blue box vestibular mechanism for stabilizing the eyes and factors concerned with equilibrium neck proprioception these are for your understanding that's all about this chapter for more details and for your mcq practice do consult medical globe mcq crack series stay tuned for more videos Medical Globe introduces its series of successful publications, MBBS Cracks, the benchmark of all, containing all the chapter-wise questions of prime importance, all annual and subtly solved university questions, questions to ace your vivas, chapter polls, and of course, we have incorporated all the labels and histologic and anatomic models in high resolution for your distinction level OSPI preparations. Medical Globe has also launched a gem in the medical world to master every concept for your multiple choice questions. The MCQ cracks, encompassing UHS, NAMS, and many others, revealing the UHS MCQ rank, your practice MCQs, and topic wise MCQs. Get your MCQ and MBBS cracks at your doorstep by placing your order at 0335 66